Sarin Sasrikal, another very warm good evening. Jumbo Sana, because my gallery staff love me saying Jumbo Sana. I'm going to say Jumbo Sana to all my viewers of Kenya, Africa, uh, Tanzania, and uh, uh, Sarianu Nigga uh, Swagat to my health show every Monday at 9:40, bringing you a wide spectrum of information. JDK third apni body de which galta or kede man treatments kardi ameri clinic which to assist you to overcome the symptoms. Problems jede apni zindagi vich ande ya daksho bahut vadiya vadiya topics leke aniya. Everything that helps to detox from the body because our body carries on with so much poison and jirilya cheeza. Kush khane apa swad le khane ya. Kush khane apa apni khushi vaste khane ya. Kush khane apa gummi de vich khane ya. Kush khane apa khane in social behaviors de vich. Kush khane apa yaar dostan al baat ke chak chak tu bhi khala. Chak chak tu bhi peela. And you know what I mean is the yellow water alcohol. And does the same thing comes in universities where children would actually challenge their own mates and say, "Tu vi pi ke dekhla." Problems jere zindagi de vicha they are like a washing machine, and we seem to be uh, they twist us, they spin us, they knock us out for six. Yeah, really, but the end of this problems jere pahar unde ya we come out cleaner, we come out squeakier, we come out more polished and refined because we see brightness at the end of that tunnel, and uh, things look better than before. So let's never be depressed. So like a washing machine, let's spin out. Not let's not spin out into space forever, because these problems can really become a serious problem. Uh, Detox is a word which is very badly misconstrued in, in in industry. Oh, do a seven-day detox, do a four-day detox. It doesn't happen. Your body is a, a capsule. In that capsule, we have 600 trillion cells. In that capsule, we have the eyes, the ears, the nose, the hearing capacity, the taste buds. We have the heart, the lungs, the pancreas, the gallbladder, the spleen, the kidney. Uh, we have the small colon. We have the large colon. We have the adrenal glands, and it's no and the gallbladder. It's huge, and we have got 10 times more lymphatic system than arteries and veins put together. And in this eight quarts of blood, information is carried on. Lots of gandaman the khania to, lots of things from jirilia sprays, pesticides, domestic pollution, uh, power zones, lots of power bonds, lots of chemicals. Karande which jede sanu krab karene. So in my journey, I'll be taking you on to this show, which is called detox. But what is detox? It is misconstrued, and I hope that in this one hour you'll be able to make some sort of judgment. Okay, what I'm talking about and what I mean in my clinic by detox. Mera show da san saaran da nigga swagat. Honda mera show har sombar no vajke chali minute the UK time. And asas ho raha ke USA, Canada de which we bahut loki dekh rahe and South America, Peru. Welcome. So a lot of people in South America are watching the show. Sardaniga swagat. In Spanish, I would say, uh, you know, um, it is. Uh, uh, I don't know what's the word in Spanish. I need to check this out. I've gone a bit foggy on that. Okay, detox. On a sensible note, let's go on to this liver detox. So many different detoxes. So people are sending fad things. There's liver detox. Electromagnetic field detox that I do in my clinic. Uh, there's the colon detox which I do. There's a stomach enzyme balance that I do. There's a gallbladder detox which I do. There is the urinary bladder detox which I do. There's the kidney stone detox, gallbladder detox. Now that is detox. If I give you a Hoover and I say that quarter bag khali kar de, the Hoover kari ja, it's not going to pick up the garbage if the bag is not cleaned up properly, and then you get a better pickup of all that garbage on the floor. The body has a great me uh, coping mechanism. It is so amazing; it can take so much bullshit. Literally, I'm sorry about that word, uh, to get rid of it, its toxins naturally. But it can only be done with a sensible, healthy, balanced diet, good thoughts, good lifestyle, good exercise. So you can say maybe your friends to see naal brabar da ona da kaise ho khareya, but your health demises because your body's mechanism. 
coping mechanism has crashed out. They may carry on drinking. They might carry on donor kebabs. They might carry on having Radhe Baravaje the pizza. But your body cannot cope because that is full. You are now overloaded. You are now overflowing with all this information into your out of into the bloodstream and now you've hit rock bottom it's when you hit rock bottom then people think oh you're depressed oh you're useless oh you'll have to give up work and you start taking sick leave and time off work or backache or stomach problems so all the therapies i do they complement this word detoxification it's a big word detox is d-e-t-o-x a five letter word but what is detoxification uh, cleaning the rubble in the mind body and soul because if you don't clear this mind and you still got this baggage of the past of the mother-in-law of the son of the child or the husband then you're not detoxifying how to do it with a nest scan come and see me i'll take you to an amazing journey of knowing what really is detox and then you know patients start healing it's as if when the vacuum bag is clean and then we're picking up all the other residue and all the toxins and assisting the body to get rid of these um, things that have piled up in the system which is now an overload gaddi vich fuel pa rahe you'll use the best fuel you won't use leaded fuel in a diesel Vice versa, you won't use diesel in a leaded because you don't conk it out. So why do we try to load up the wrong foods in the system and expect the best mileage? We want to put the right fuel to get the best mileage. We need the right tires. We need to get our car MOT. We need to get the oil. We need to get the water checked. We need to put antifreeze. But that is a mode of your travel. This body is your mode. It's your mode of your physical being on this earth, which Vaigru has given you this blessed body. You are the caretaker. These pillars, these two legs are supporting the whole body. But any one point you have any information which is incorrect, your body is going to tilt. Or you might start walking wonky. Or you might get slacky. Or you might have kamar dard. Or you might start limping. Or young children having knee aches. And young girls, another topic I'll be taking you, that in another 10 years, young girls are going to show osteoporosis, a bone disease, a serious problem. Coming through fizzy drinks, phosphoric acids, and coming through these fad, bad diets that girls think by crash dieting and trying to keep their body down to eat, uh, you know, eight stones and eating, uh, picking up on sweets and white bread, missing out desi food. I may not look desi, but I'm very desi in blood. And my blood group is desi, by the way. It's not A or B or O. I have got desi and ghee positive is my blood group. Welcome to the show. I have to keep a bit of humor, but that's the reality. So I brought my children up on desi food. And they've grown up to be six foot plus, six foot three, six foot two, uh, carried on with sports and martial arts and uh, uh, Dan one, Dan two, martial arts, swimming, uh, snorkeling, um, and just carried on working with them and giving them the Sakya of Punjabi Gurbani. And a mother is an information carrier, but if she can't share that with her children and she can't motivate her children from the age of two to 18, uh, and then really primary from the age of 6 to 18, talking when the child can hold this information. A child can learn four languages at a time. Charge a naik bacha sakta at a time. That's the intelligence of a child. That's the intelligence of the sharpness of a child. But do we exploit this? Do we assist this? We say, ni sada bacha Punjabi ni bolda. Because English art can take school renda ya. So Punjabi bol ni sakta. But a child can learn four languages, folks. Where have we gone wrong that we are losing our children from our mother tongue and not connecting with our children with our Sikh history and our food? Why are we westernizing ourselves? This detox word coming from mothers is wrong. You need to produce healthy children. You need to make a good diet. We've had callers calling to say that they changed their lifestyle and giving the children raw food, not opening processed dabbe and fast foods. And the children have shown less behavior problems, sleeping better, happier, less cranky, not too funny, sitting in one place, concentrating, not being a nuisance while a mother is driving. They are calmer. From here to Birmingham, mothers have driven with the most peaceful journey, having had the NEST program and detoxifying the garbage in the child from my program. Mira Clinic, the number I got 7 Email ID, 
Manjeet Kaur, 51 at yahoo.co.uk. My shop online is sales at manjeetshop.co.uk. You can see lots of my shows going back from the last 10 years on YouTube, lots of cook shows, lots of chat shows, everything to help you to feel the confidence that I, with my genuity, with my sincerity, I actually explore and assist my patients to come out through crippling diseases, but with his grace. Akal Puruk di nazar achi owe, te bohat dayaya, and I'm very grateful. Never start my day without thanking God. Never start my day without my meditation. Never start my day by making a humble request to my Akal Puruk, ke jeda vi patient awe, may my vision be open, and may I give my best service to the citizens that come to see me. That is the truth of my treatments. The patients, uh, you know, start healing much better. Their responses are much better. Some might take days, some might take a few weeks, some take three weeks. People come with heartburns, people come with burning, people come with having to save themselves from surgery of colon, colitis, bleeding colons, traveling from all over the world. I need to thank them uh, for having trust and faith. But our trust and faith overnight ni hunda. Our trust and faith builds up over time. I have got a caller on air. Let me now take this call and uh, the topic of discussion is detox. Hello caller, welcome and uh, a very warm good evening to my live show. What would you like to say? Hi Manjeet. Oh hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, I like the word you said. I'm good, thank you. Um, I'm great. I'm always great to. You've seen me for years, for the last six years. Have you seen any change in my moods? Sorry. <laughs> I said you've been seeing me for the last six years. Have you changed? Seen me ever sad? I'm always great. No, no, honestly, you, you're very good. <laughs> oh, the feel-good factor resonates to the patient. My program, sweetheart, today is detoxification, domestic problems, domestic fumes, environmental toxins, petrol fumes, uh, flash, bleaches, toilets, per, uh, cleaners, perfumes. And we all look for the word detox. What have you discovered and what have you got to say in today's in my show today? Basically, the detox. Um, that I've had is has been amazing. You know, over the six years when I first came, I had problems with digestion. You know, bloatiness, acid in the stomach, anxiety. You know, weakness in the body. I could go on for hours saying what I had. Wow. Well, um, yeah. But um, you know, the clonics, the you know, the detox in clonics was amazing for me. It, it is basically um, like having a service done. You know throughout your whole body it feels like the energy i got from the first one i had it was it was amazing honestly um, mind blowing <laughs> it, it was it was because i was struggling to like uh, make it through the whole day i was having naps all the time you know and um, my digestion was really slow it was like eating in the morning and then having food in the evening again and um, just like so heavy in the body you know um, foggy in the head and um, but honestly, from the clonics, it's, it was real. I mean, I had constipation constantly, you know. And bowel movements were always really hard and, you know, um, skin problems. I was having stress problems. The whole issues, you know, I had a lot of problems. And, but, you know, the clonics was amazing. The detox is, even if you're well, I think you should still have it a few times yeah. a year, you know. Sure. Just to cleanse your system out. It's like... When you've got a car, you know, you still have a service even though you know that it's still performing. Really? It's, it's similar, so good. It's, sim it's similar to, you know, as humans. We still need something, you know, cleaning our, you know, we do because the food that we eat is, is undigested food that I had. I was shocked to see how much there was, you know. Mm. Um, but um, on top of the topic, the detox is definitely people don't realize how good it is. Yeah. Um, your other pro, you know, the other things I have been having in the last year or so has been um, the environmental, you know, pollution. Um, it's really been affecting me, um, especially on your topic today, you know, with the bleaches, yes. the perfumes, the petrols. I couldn't handle them, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I was off work for so many months due yes. to it. Yes, yes. Um, you know, amazingly, your the, the programs that you have for the scanning. The uh, NEST scan, the, NES, yeah. Yes, the NEST drops, they help, honestly. They, instantly, sometimes you go to doctors, you take some medicine and you think, I've taken it for two, three days and it's not kicked in. 
and it's like these drops are so good they like within 10 minutes you can actually feel but your food advice is very very good um thank you but i you know all to all the listeners i would definitely you know recommend uh you see manji at least once i would say Yes. And see how you go on. Um, and I'm get your you MOT of your body done, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, definitely. I think, I think um, you, you know, we are, every year we take our cars for MOTs. So we should be taking our cars for MOTs, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's always, always nice to meet you and speak to you. You know, you're a very nice person. You're well, most welcoming. And um, I hope everything goes well for you. Um, But yeah, it's, well, it is very, very nice to see you and hear you again. So nice. It's, it was great pleasure to treat you. Uh, so much pleasure to know that you have benefited from the programs that you've came for to the point where you had tingling sensation in the peripheral endings and you could Absolutely, not stand yes. Indian turka in the house. You wanted to gasp and get out for fresh air. Toilet bleaches, perfumes on women were bugging you. You were getting tingling sensation in fingers. Could have triggered off MS and you were without work for months. And as soon as you saw me you went back to work absolutely that's what i mean i could go on for hours talking about what i've had <laughs> and what i haven't but honestly it's it's amazing you know your treatment is really up there you know i don't think even hospitals have what you have and yeah. you know you've got patients from all over the world you know you're treating and yeah. um, from cancer to god knows what illnesses you treat but yes honestly the detox i i you know because i've i've had it i'm i'm speaking of you know on the basis of like um you know i've had it done and the you know the detox is definitely what people need to be you know be looking at definitely for sure so nice to hear your voice so nice to hear your positivity so nice to hear your voice full of energy because you came lifeless you came honestly it was like that, yes. and the family kept saying okay why didn't you go to the doctor because you said no dr manjeet is going to have an answer for me and you proved it to your family each time absolutely yes that's true each time uh, there was a time when you had some wrong red meat and that left you with serious problems and absolutely. Uh, the moment you came did your colon detox get ro- got rid of that nasty bacteria you got and you recovered you know and uh, i really need to thank you for first trusting me number two traveling from up north to south god bless you because you back to work you've got a livelihood you're not snappy with the children you have a quality lifestyle and the moment i've seen that you see a little dip in something your first res- uh, protocol is get to dr manjeet <laughs> it, is, it, is, it honestly is yeah. you know and i'm so uh, yes i mean i do you know people like uh, need to look into this because going to your gps i mean the half of the time they just like pushing you you know towards the door like yeah they don't want you to come out as soon as you go in they want you back out you know <laughs> they're not they, they're not really there to like they're just like you're on the n- number i i that's how i see it so you're nicely you're said number. you're just another so, number for eight minutes absolutely and you're back out and you once you get to the cameras you you're in two minds if to take yeah. the tablets or not so yeah. it's like you know honestly yeah, people do need to like uh, look after those so, so those 8 minutes if you go the second time and the third time they now think you're seriously depressed so they depressed and that's how it is it then is they give you way. then they end up giving you antidepressants that's that is it they yeah. give you antidepressants and then they say you're stuck for the rest of your life yeah them, so. i'm so glad you've trusted in me you've trusted my program you have reaped the rewards and you have a quality lifestyle and as a young listener i need to thank you for trusting me but also for giving such a profoundly detailed uh, program uh, of the benefits you've had from detox i wish you very good health and i wish you carry on taking the good foods and the food lifestyle you have been so thorough in detail in taking the good fats and the greens and the power shakes and you have reaped the rewards um, and this will come through years when you'll see your friends health demising when you'll be still in the pivot of good health god bless you uh, okay, carry on with you. good health give my uh, very fond regards to your respected mother and your beautiful I children i will do Thank uh, you very much. Thank you and Sister Carl. God you. bless you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 There was a very uh, prominent caller from uh, up north who has taken treatment from me over years but came very very sick and uh, from the detox that he had and where he had benzene, petrol fumes, car, the turka, lassan, adrak, mircha, perfume, he was gasping for breath. His fingers would go numb. He would just drop. That was how 
toxic these things were affecting. I'm going to be taking you, obviously telling you how dangerous. We try to make our houses so clean, so ultra clean, but we are seriously making our children very sick as well. That's another one, a topic of environmental pollution that I'll take you in. But what do we need to use in the house to make our environment friendly, to make our air friendly, not only just hawa, but apne jadi roodiyan galla jadi apna bachya nal share kariye that hawa ma bachya nu maavan di thandi hawa jandiyan ne and that can affect the children so we stopped on uh, that uh, the patient starts healing very pr properly lot of fad uh, regimes of detox fad diets and uh, three day soup lelo juice lelo you'll clean up no it doesn't happen like that head to toe the five foot plus body has to cleanse the blood the skin the kidneys the stomach but where do you start and that's where my professionalism comes in through the all the the qualifications i have including aqua punching uh, nutritional diet lifestyle changes like the caller has so well f f said that the food has really helped him uh, the nas program has superseded everything as as well with the Ayurveda support, the anxiety and everything. So diet, exercise and regenerating the new cells, 600 new cells we need to regenerate so that you know you get the feel good factor and you can feel better. That is the word detox. Um, it's not what we are looking at girls looking at five or six stones models with young girls looking at uh, seriously punishing their bodies with starvation and looking for just a little bit of sugar alcohol tea and coffee and then they do not produce healthy children uh, and these their emotional trauma leads on not to having uh, giving their children good food um, and then when they do lose their muscles, they become have saggy muscles in saggy areas. Uh, fat detoxes like washing away chlorophyll uh, sins. These diets uh, seem to be perfect. And uh, it's an antidote to mankind's uh, fast food lifestyle. And alcoholic infringed people uh, would think it's the best way to detox. Uh, the first and foremost step to detox is cleanse the colon, like the caller has said. If the toxins build up in your body and you cannot or could not get rid of them you have actually got so much gunk in there it's like saying okay, my toilet which bleach but my brush and leave the toilet scaled it doesn't happen until you do the descaling from the colon folks that's the best way forward and uh, you're most likely you know the excretion of this toxins from the body is the best way forward um, it does not need medical intervention of allopathic drugs. That's how I work. Um, the fat program of detoxification of tablets and tea bags and masks and bath salts and shampoos and conditioners and gels, a seven day diet, uh, help you lose weight, but does nothing but pile up the toxins. So the, the body lives in a sea of poisonous toxins. There is just no, you cannot control the flow of blood folks in your body it is at free will working from head to toe with a thrust of blood oxygenated from the heart if your lungs have given good oxygen if you have more carbon dioxide and you're breathing one third and everybody is thinking they're doing yoga most yogis don't even know that people are constipated they can't even breathe from their colon from the belly button and they all doing is inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and exhaling and you call that a yoga. I met two yogis in my life who said go and do a colon detox before you come and do yoga a series. Then you will learn how to inhale and exhale properly. But just taking that carbon dioxide and recirculating that through your system doesn't help. The whole question is our body needs oxygen, hydrogen molecules and nitrogen on a little level but not carbon dioxide which is a toxic gas and that carbon dioxide or methane gas is what we call farting gas or uh, which is from the anal or you know repetitive acid reflux from the mouth khatte dakar acidity ulceration stomach ulcers hiatus hernia heart burning go that's seriously a huge problem folks we got so heart burning is a problem i think 20 million people in UK have got acid reflux problems and they're all on these tablets starting with a O, uh, you know, or A or a R. 
<laughs> I'll leave you to find out what that is. Um, so those are, you know, in this Sumundarda Darya, genetic toxins, they have to be done in a structured program. What does alcohol do? You think detoxifying a few days and people are talking about alcohol and uh, they are talking on uh, just uh, uh, about one to one, just talking about how can I help you with the emotional blockage. But what does alcohol do? First, why did they even get to that problem? What alcohol does, it breaks up into two process enzymes. The first one, it converts alcohol in a, uh, at a uh, acetyl dyed um, a very toxic substance that damages liver cells that's what alcohol does not one or two uh, a week but then what uh, is happening with the youngsters going into university is a uh, chakde chakde and comparison with your friends my daughter did not find one d decent Sikh boy in Newcastle University she came back home saying mom all these boys drink every weekend all these boys have new goria every weekend and that's all they compare and they laugh and they think they are mighty if they've hit a three-quarter bottle and they have thrown and vomited around in the school halls she said there was not one sick decent sick boy that they could even say hello to and these were boys with the stars came back home and she said mom i want a sing sardar who's non-alcoholic but must have kenya style pug God bless her. She's very happy where she is now. And this was a problem in university where my children came back and said, Mom, there are serious issues. I had to prepare my children that don't even leave your drink of water when you are uh, in the society, in your friends or your Asian society in the uni. Because even children mask the drinks. They silently put things in your uh, drink that you can be addicted to and have serious problems. You know, so who do you trust? Do you trust your friends? No. Have friends? But trust your, uh, trust what your heart says, your gut feeling. That's where the, all the information comes. Is this a good friend? Utani batni sahi honi chaydiya. And this, uh, this uh, very toxic sub substance immediately converts into carbon dioxide. Anybody drinking alcohol uh, and water, which the body needs to get rid of. In Indian weddings, our children are actually on a massive scale subjected and open to mass, uh, will I say floodgates of shrub on every table where asi kanya daan kanna par asi swagat vi kanna shrub nal is that a story and people think ke haan asi kyo ni kudiyan nu maar siti hai biya haan to pehle hai because jo enna dena pehna asa de kabil ni hai and we can't financially support our daughter's wedding I don't think that is a way of, uh, you know, uh, aborting your girl fetus or killing your daughter is a way. Patani kinna paap, patani kinne janam to see your paap katna. And this is here, this is in USA, this is in Italy, where women are miscarrying and aborting girl fetuses and they think ke asi gaha vyaha kinda karne ne, patani ki manga honiya munde andiya. I think ik apa kanya daan kanna should be done in the most humble, serene way with the vegetarian diet and food. There's plenty of beautiful vegetable foods. So this is where girls and boys try to hide their drinks in colas in Indian weddings. Gore Indian weddings se ja ke be bas ho jande ne. They get crazy when they see any shirab table ante rudriya. They cannot handle themselves. Detoxification includes one of the one and many more that is uh, you know in the program. F sensible eating and uh, uh, you know uh, having a study a proper plan that i would make for you uh, which is not dieting which is sensible eating and sensible combination fasting in a controlled environment but not saying ke meri fasting ho jandi jad main kaal channel on hi because subah to challi da pinni khadi maybe the odd soup and i do not probably even get back home and just uh, probably will have a hot broth and that is my fasting for the day <laughs> Because to do the shows and to do the cook shows, I seriously have to be um, so rigid with my program, and that's my fasting. Loki can they cover a chota worth a kadine, subada suraj deke the shanda chand. And when I am doing the shows, sometimes my haja suraj ni dekya onda. I'm in the studio and shanda chand ni dekya because badal hai. The dusre din the suraj dekhi da. So let me take you to the half time on this happy note with one little sweet break, very short. Back with you with Manjeet Kaur on my health show. I'm going to take you into a speedy second part of the show. What detox is? Stay tuned. <laughs> 